everybody likes a good movie, but it's more than that. It's um, we have so few cinemas in the Western Isles, and the screen machine travels around. But it's not every week, and I think people like to look forward to a movie every week. And it's not the same taking a DVD out and watching it at home. Um, even with your popcorn and your tea and everything, you can have a lovely evening, but sharing a movie with a small group is the most wonderful experience. I feel that uh, the library is now possibly expanding into ways that people don't, in the past wouldn't have thought of them like that. Mm -hmm. It seems to me the library is, is a very appropriate place. I, I've had a residency as a, as a writer in the library here, and in that year I realised what a well-used facility it is. It's still very much a point of contact, first point of information for a lot of people, so I think it's the, it's the ideal partnership. This project um, was set up in order to test that proposition. How would, uh, how could uh, libraries across Scotland uh, engage more closely with film and creative film learning. In 2015 the Scottish Government launched a new public library strategy for Scotland, Ambition and Opportunity. Within the strategy there are six strategic aims. Aim 5 looks at culture and creativity and through this uh, strategic aim we're looking to make libraries more vibrant, places that people want to go and explore, talk, discuss, learn, um, but actually use their own creativity to develop content and in some cases co-produce content with the library staff. So the film project absolutely lends itself to this. Obviously, over time, members of the public will be able to work with library staff in suggesting content. Um, they will also be able to lead and discuss content with their peers in the community. But perhaps more importantly, it will make them look at cinema and a uh, film in a completely different light and help them understand the world around them. One of the most uh, uh, pleasurable and exciting things for me has been working with uh, librarians and to see how they've uh, taken hold of the project um, and driven it forward in their particular context, doing very different things, trying very different things out, working with different audiences and different groups, different demographics and so forth, but really getting hold of the, the projects and owning it and, and driving it forward. And I think that's absolutely key for um, the sustainability. And it's one of the key things that, that you know, we're learning from the project is the librarians are absolutely key to making this project work. The Film Education in Scottish Libraries project has been piloted in six local areas across Scotland. So they have been the Western Isles, Edinburgh, Midlothian, Falkirk, North Lanarkshire and South Ayrshire. And we've been working with the libraries to identify the audiences that they'd like to work with because um, they know their local audiences best and we've also been giving the librarians access to training opportunities in the film industry they've been trained on the new screening kits that we've supplied them with um, they've been to different film education conferences um, they've been to watch new release films through the independent cinema office screening days um, just to give them an insight into what is currently going on in the film world and film education. We are the children's team for Open Culture in the Libraries. So we are working with the 3 to 5 um, age group which is good fun as you can imagine. What we're doing is, um, I think it's providing another strand for libraries and it's providing access, um, cultural access to um, the local community and showing again, like, libraries are not just books, you know, you can have access to culture in your local library as well. And I think in North Lanarkshire, um, you know, there are a lot of areas that there isn't um, a cinema at all, so getting the kids to come in and see this cinema style has uh, been really rewarding. Um, well, obviously, recently we had the um, Sing Along Oklahoma Singer, yeah. <laughs> with mm -hmm. the uh, elderly, the lunch club group. Mm -hmm. And we also um, had the Discovery Film Festival in mm -hmm. October as well, so we showed shorts for wee ones and shorts for middle, middle ones from around the world as well. We did that for a wider school audience.
The Sahili Wellbeing Group works with women from black and minority ethnic backgrounds and it try, we try to combat isolation with the Wellbeing Group. So we have women from about late 20s, maybe early 20s, some of them, to about 70. We have a 70 year old is our oldest women in the group and they're generally um, trying to come out and socialize and meet other people as well as learning different things to help them with their lifestyle. We've been looking at films about once a month and the women absolutely love it. Um, some of the films we've been watching has been Cool Runnings, Bride and Prejudice, Tangle, just romantic comedies and fluff, you know, nothing too serious but uh, just something to encourage them and they really, really love it so we've been carrying that on and it's really, really brought the group together and encouraged the women quite a bit because sometimes because of their cultures and, and their life situation they're either not able to afford it or allowed to go out at night or allowed to go to the cinema even by themselves so it's really, really been a great thing for them to do and to come out. Well, but it's been a really interesting experience. Um, the library is very small, um, so there have been challenges. And what's exciting with uh, Tarbot is that um, we've been invited to take part in other sort of community festivals and that. So the film club is now seen as a venue. And I've just watched La La Land, which um, I really, really enjoyed being totally absorbed in it for a couple of hours watching it on the big screen, um, which makes a really nice change from watching DVDs at home. Um, the film club at Lenniclet has been uh, fantastic. From their very first launch um, in November last year, they had over 20 people, which doesn't sound like a huge number, but for the area it, it is. And there was huge enthusiasm. Um, they started with a Scottish movie, Local Hero, which was very popular. So there's already a great buzz in the community and it feels as if the community is owning the film club now. So in the prison library at Paul Mint for the Inside Film Project, um, Simon has been our creative practitioner and he's been taking sessions. Um, we've had sessions with young men and the women. We watched um, Ken Loach, we did the Angel Share and we talked a lot about Sweet 16 also. It's been a real joy to work with the young people at Polmont on the Inside Film Project, exposing them to a whole range of new specialised film that they wouldn't normally have had a chance to engage with, starting right at the beginning of film in the 1880s through to what their, uh, the, the blockbusters and the mainstream um, uh, movies of today, so working with what they know but also a lot of other varied content. This has been a really important um, project for Pullman Prison Library, otherwise the people would never have had the chance to do something like this, it's completely different, it was creative, engaging, the feedback that we got was excellent. It's been great working with the prison library staff at Pullman, they've learned a lot about a whole new subject. I think the young people in particular have really appreciated the interactive approaches that we've taken, quizzes, games, keeping things in bite size chunks, short clips from film through the ages to illustrate particular technical or cultural uh, aspects of cinema. The main setup of the film clubs has been um, programming um, films for different audiences and following the sessions with film discussion to find out what the different members of the audience thought about the films, maybe see if they want to make any film suggestions. Um, but we've also had the opportunity as well as the monthly or fortnightly film clubs that have been running to have different special events. So we've had a focus on archive film um, where we worked with Shona Thompson, a curator and producer who specialises in archive film, or we have got extra funding from the British Film Institute's Black Star season for a season of films at Craig Miller Library focusing on black actors in film. Um, we also hosted a women's festival at Edinburgh Central Library. We had a theme of cinema, women in cinema, for our Harpies Festers and Quaints annual festival. It gives the audience a chance to be involved in 
a learning about issues, whether they're historical or current, whether they're directly relevant to their own lives. Uh, and also it gives them a chance to interact with each other. We've had some question and answers. Uh, we've had documentary introductions about the films. Uh, people are then encouraged to go away and read as well, which is very important to me as a librarian, that they have that ability to go and do a little bit of research. We showed Salma, for example, so people were asked about the poetry. The germ of the idea just comes out from the group, I think, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. And I think quite a lot of the films we've shown already have kind of looked at different aspects of women's lives in history mm -hmm. too. I mean, the one yeah. we looked at yesterday, the Red Shirts on the Clyde, was very much geared to the women's struggles of yeah. paying their rent yeah. in the First yeah. World War. Yeah. And, uh, and the mine, women yeah. in the mines yeah. issue yeah. too, was yeah. so interesting. Yeah. Yeah, you do attract a different audience totally and an audience that possibly wouldn't go to films or possibly can't afford to yeah. sometimes um, and uh, I think that's probably the biggest and also the idea of a library being something where events happen that are not just about borrowing books I mean I think we've moved on from that mostly in libraries it's the quality when you're in a room that isn't built for cinema you're very much dependent on the quality of the equipment you have and if it's poor quality, it's a poor experience for the audience. And they don't enjoy that. Modern audiences have quite high expectations. So they're hoping for something really good quality. And I have to say, we, we've used in, I've used in-house things before with a laptop and a DVD and all the rest of it. And it's fine, it works, it mostly. But it's nothing like the sound quality in particular is really good. Gavin, a Scottish seaport town, population about 6,000, lying towards the south of the long west facing coastline of Ayrshire. What sort of a place is this? Welcome to this very special event, um, Gervin Library presents A Kind of Seeing. Uh, my name is Shona Thompson and I am your guide for this afternoon. Well, I think I'll just keep farming here now till, till I'm that old that I can't farm. My mum and dad always used to tell us about the houses, it's that where the grass is. You can down. Oh, the follies. Oh, is it the follies? Oh, the follies and the eye, the wind up there. Yeah. yeah I've, never, awesome. I've never seen a picture of them. I just um, wondered what it all looked like, because yeah, it always fascinated pictures. me. Cause you didn't again all the wood your centers. Oh, Wester Hills is wonderful. I think it's very important when you're doing archive screenings um, and to hold archive screenings in the areas that you're, you're, you're showing them in. It allows the communities to reconnect with their past and it sort of reconnect with the emotions that they had back then, but also introduces it to the sort of younger uh, audiences as well, or along who might not have known or didn't, went around when, when that happened. They can see sort of the history of of where they live and it kind of gives it a bit more ethos to it, but at the same time allows those two generations to interconnect with each other. This is, this is going back to my childhood days. Uh, I believe it was the Gaumont Children's Theatre on a Saturday morning. And we used to see the adverts or see the programme uh, put onto the screen and apparently the, the, the slides were made from glass, yeah. smoked over a candle wow. and then someone actually wrote the message on the slide. Because when we were young, anything we saw on the screen was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> In the Western Isles? Yes. It might well have been. Is that somebody quite recognisable? Did she? Uh, she was my teacher in Torstam in 1954. Oh, really? 
Wow. So it's been a great pleasure to work on this project with all of the librarians um, to see how they've embraced film literacy and how they've enthused their audiences, how they've extended the audiences that they've worked with to take film to a wider group within their communities um, and I think it's amazing how they have made film a key offering in their libraries in a relatively short period of time. The majority of the pictures you've seen you've seen before but it's either been on the television, in fact you would say 95% of them have been on the television. You may have seen them years ago on a big film but to come and watch them again on a big screen is really enjoyable and I think it's, it's good to get out and mix with people instead of being in the house sitting doing nothing, you know, and, and I just enjoy it, I enjoy the pictures. Some of what the film club is about is um, just having a chance to chat um, sometimes the conversations go off on a tangent and have nothing to do with the film anymore. Um, other times it is all about the film. I'm seeing films that I've seen before when I was younger and when I when I watch them I realise how much I miss the content that I miss. You think to yourself, oh, I don't, I don't know if I want to go and see um, Be Born in Vietnam, and yet I can't. So I really enjoyed it. It was tremendous, yes. absolutely. A lot of community centres have closed now, a lot of places where people used to congregate, and I think libraries are now becoming far more important. As I say, it's important to be showing them doing different things. Well, it's great to have this kind of film club because different movies can bring different people together. Different foreign movies can intrigue different interests and different cultures. I think it's good to have film clubs with us because islands are really isolated and I think it's good to bring people together and being in an island, you know, people are used to the same thing. So I think it's good to bring in different things every now and then. I think it's good for like different people's interests and yeah, again, as it brings a lot of people together, especially on an island.